special meeting. Uh, the time now is 1.08 p.m. And we do have a proposed agenda here before us. Presiding is myself, Seth Damon, Speaker of the 24th Navajo Nation Council. That, we did call the meeting to order. Let's get a roll call and make sure we do have at least a two committee room form. And then we'll go ahead and go from there. Ms. Rota is going to be taking the votes and the roll call this morning. Actually, this afternoon. Rota? Good afternoon, honorable committee members. Honorable Almer Begay. Honorable Almer Begay. Honorable Almer Begay did not answer roll call. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. did not answer roll call. Honorable Paul Begay. Honorable Paul Begay is present. Honorable Paul Begay is present. Honorable Nathaniel Brown. Honorable Nathaniel Brown. Honorable Nathaniel Brown did not answer roll call. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton. Delegate Charles Newton is present. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton answered roll call. Honorable Amber Canaspa Crotty. Uh, yes, A Shadid. This is Delegate Amber Canaspa Crotty, and I'm on the line. Thank you. Honorable Amber Canaspa Crotty answered roll call. Honorable Speaker Seth Damon. Honorable Speaker Seth Damon is present. Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. did not answer roll call. Honorable Mark Freeland. Good afternoon, Freeland's present, thank you. Honorable Mark Freeland answered roll call. Honorable Pernell Halona. Honorable Pernell Halona. Honorable Pernell Halona did not answer roll call. Honorable Jamie Hino. Delegate present. Honorable Jamie Hino answered roll call. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James did not answer roll call. Honorable Rick Nez. Delegate Rick Nez is present. Honorable Rick Nez answered roll call. Honorable Carl Slater. Delegate Slater present. Honorable Carl Slater answered roll call. Honorable Raymond Smith Jr. Present. Honorable Raymond Smith Jr. answered roll call. Honorable Wilson Stewart Jr. Present. Honorable Wilson Stewart Jr. answered roll call. Honorable Charlene So. Present. Honorable Charlene So answered roll call. Honorable Daniel So. I'm here. Honorable Daniel So answered roll call. Honorable Eugene So. Closest to you. Honorable Eugene So answered roll call. Honorable Otto So. Honorable Otto So is present. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. did not answer roll call. Honorable Edison Winika. Here. Honorable Edison Winika answered roll call. Honorable Edmund Yazi. Honorable Edmund Yazi. Honorable Edmund Yazi did not answer roll call. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair did not answer roll call. Going back up. Honorable Elmer Begay. 
Honorable Elmer Begay. Honorable Elmer Begay did not answer roll call. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. did not answer roll call. Honorable Nathaniel Brown. Honorable Nathaniel Brown. Honorable Nathaniel Brown did not answer roll call. Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. I'm here. Present. Honorable, Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. answered roll call. Honorable Pernell Halona. Honorable Pernell Halona. Honorable Pernell Halona did not answer roll call. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James did not answer roll call. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. did not answer roll call. Honorable Edmund Yazi. Honorable Edmund Yazi. Honorable Edmund Yazi did not answer roll call. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair did not answer roll call. Speaker, you have. Honorable Edmund Yazi is excused. Speaker, you have 16 members present, including yourself. Uh, speaking of Chairman Halona. Kale, Chair. All right, Ms. Roll Call. This is Elliot Halona. Honorable Pernell Halona answered Roll Call. Delegate Key Allen is here. Honorable, mm -hmm. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. answered Roll Call. Speaker, you have 18 members present, including yourself. <sighs> Thank you, uh, 18 members present. Speaker, this is Delegate Thomas Walker. I'm on the call. Hello, are we still on? I can hear you, uh, Eugenia. Good morning. Good afternoon. <laughs>
Thank you. Sorry, colleagues, uh, technical difficulties, but we're good to go. Uh, thank you very much again, um, on the for that. With that, with Vice Chair Walker, that's 19, correct? 19 delegates present. That is on to invocation. We did have an invocation by Vice Chair, our Honorable uh, um, Wilson Stewart this morning. So I know he uh, prayed for the day. So thank you, Honorable Stewart, for the prayer this morning. Um, so let's continue on down to, I don't know, to recognizing guests and visiting officials. Are there any recognitions this afternoon, colleagues? Uh, uh, good, good afternoon. This is Najam Tariq from Department of Water Resources. Uh, good afternoon, uh, uh, Stark. Um, colleagues, any recognitions at this time? Mr. Damon, this is Delegate Crotty. Yes, Madam Chair, Amber Crotty. Uh, yes, thank you, Speaker. I just want to uh, recognize that today is um, Truth and Reconciliation Day uh, for the Canadian First Nations. But here in the lower 48, um, we recognize that this is the time to honor all of those who survived the boarding school experience. And um, so I just wanted to make that recognition and for those advocates who um, are on the call and for those relatives who survived boarding school, um, we recognize the trauma that you endured and we stand here in solidarity and we'll be preparing um, for the upcoming tribal consultation with the Department of Interior on how we can address um, how the boarding schools were um, functioned here on Navajo Nation and those entities who were responsible for traumatizing our children and um, now learning more about intergenerational trauma and the healing that we need to do to, to heal our community. So thank you, speaker. Thank you very, very much for that recognition. I'm Chair McCarty. That colleagues, any other uh, recognizing guests or visiting officials at this time? Speaker, Delegate yes. Stewart. Humble Stewart, good afternoon. Floor is yours. Oh, good afternoon, Select Speaker, um, and staff and colleagues of the 24th Navajo Nation Council. Speaker, I want to give recognition to all of our employees that are retiring as of today from the Navajo Nation. Um, and, their, and thanks to them, a big thanks to them for all of their years of service and dedication to our Navajo Nation government. And a special thank you to Shema Nihima from Resource Development Committee, our advisor, Ms. Shami Begay, who today is her last day, all the, the 31 years that she put in with the legislative branch and being an advisor um, to the legislative branch and all the countless, hours and nights, days that she put into assisting the committees, the council with um, <clears throat> various projects and activities across the reservation to implement development, whether it be infrastructure, roads, whatever it may be that she has put her, her thoughts into to advise the council the best way they, that she knows how as an advisor. Um, so speaker I, and all the other employees as well that have done that. Um, for their divisions, for their departments. There's been several across social media that are being recognized from education to um, the economic development and, and different areas of employment that our Navajo people have contributed through the years and their knowledge, their experience that they are leaving with um, from, from the nation and that, that they will continue to be in a good resource to us in the future. And also, you know, whatever their endeavors may be to keep them safe and their, their families safe and may they enjoy their retirement 
with their children, their grandchildren, and their significant partners, and, and also just to have a good life. Um, speaker, that's all I want to say in recognition to our, our retirees from Navajo Nation. Thank you. Thank you for that, uh, Honorable Stewart. Pat, yes, congratulations to all the retirees today. With that, colleagues, any other announcements at this time? Actually, Did recognizing guests are busy. Just, sorry, not announcements. Recognizing guests are busy. Honorable Eugene, so? That's your chair. Oh. Ah, see, yeah, got none at the hat of sneak and sound cuddle. Thank you. Thank you uh, very much. Uh, for that, it was a team effort uh, with the Office of Legislative Services, everybody, all the volunteers from the legislative branch. So thank you everyone that showed up down there today uh, at the, the food distribution. Uh, with that colleagues, any other recognizing guests and visiting officials? Speaker Freeland. Yes, Honorable Freeland, good afternoon. Floor is yours. Good afternoon. Thank you, uh, Chairman. I don't know, uh, colleagues of the Nabakiate Committee, <coughs> as well as staff, good afternoon. <coughs> I wanted to also um, pay tribute um, and acknowledge our Mosh Maya, um, Shami Begay, and tell her thank you uh, as well on uh, all the retirees today. Um, there's a lot of retirees today. And Ms. Begay, we're so thankful for your contributions and the service you provided to our Navajo people during your tenure and working with the Resource and Development Committee, um, you know, uh, we, got, we got to learn a lot from you. So we're very thankful. Otto, um, the staff, all the retirees, I saw Office of Management and Budget, there's five individuals there. Um, Division Community Development, uh, Mr. Ben Cowboy, um, Ms. Marie Begay, Mr. Johnny Long, Mr. Leo Barber, uh, under the CPMD office. I've had a very distinct honor and, and pleasure of working with these individuals and um, working on the New Mexico side in particular. And to witness how dedicated our staff were to help create and change lives forever and I, I i really we all appreciate them all of our staff that are retiring um you know in particular the staff at cpmd they don't they don't get enough acknowledgement i know that a lot of times they get chewed out and they get uh blamed for things but you know we're very thankful because especially out in the remote areas in the grassroots area Changing lives is forever. Enhancing lives is forever. When we're able to provide electricity or water or even build a bathroom, that's enhancement of the life of our, for our Navajo people. So I want to say thank you to the staff at CPMD, to the staff at OMB, and to all those who are retiring today. Shema, you're a part of it. We're forever grateful to your to your years of service, to your dedication, to helping change the lives of our Navajo people forever. And, you know, I, I, we all appreciate that. We're so thankful. So, Eddie, uh, Chairman, I just wanted to mention that and say thank you to the staff. Appreciate it. Thank you, Honorable Freeland. And thank you again to uh, not only to Shami, but all the other retirees throughout the year and today and uh, continue uh, to retire. 
Uh, thank you very much again, uh, colleagues. Is there any other uh, recognizing guests or visiting officials at this time? Good chair. Good chair. Honorable Daniels, then Honorable Eugene. So, Honorable Daniels. Thank you, Mr. Chair. This morning, so does the hell of the Sicilia, I see Hodo just a quick Hodo here by Hanson. By Hatan eats him every day, Hodo Sundatil, Zinko Nana Koto, then Nedan eat, eight of the Nedi Nika. First and foremost, I don't know, Koto, Koto, my colleague, Koto, the Azure Koto, Delegate Freeland and Delegate Stewart Yahad Ziki. Should we all have it all this? Koto, I just want to say thank you. As I see Koto, a and don't know with RDC Resources and Development Committee. I see this just and Lago in ne I will utilize those tools kodo moving forward kodo the teachings that you gave me kodo dam shamakodo dam Mr. Gay, Kodo I see Kodo Bai Ken Sinako, a corner great and the Hazard Sani, the Hadlo, at the grassroots level. Eo Yasadit Atekos, Hazan Leda Bena Radonana Bekashi Sainta, so Eli Benanis Eosin, I don't wonder how that Oyo Hot and Halon, not in Tiendonana Kodo, not in Tienhahila, Koi Aki Bai Ken Sankodo, so what I don't see yet at Zikro Sani. I just want to say thank you again to Shamakododa, um, Shami Kododa, thank you, Kododa, Mr. K. I see Baba Jensen, she says, and do Kodo. So I don't know, Kodo, one toy perhaps, you don't know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you with that. Uh, colleagues, uh, I do have on your routine, so next in the queue. Speaker, uh, Freeland, can you put me back? I forgot to mention two other individuals. Colleagues, Thank you. Uh, mind you, colleagues, we have an hour and a half left before uh, the Navajo Nation Council goes into a special session. And uh, I'm hearing that there's going to be add-ons add to the NAPI committee. So. Be mindful, colleagues. Uh, Honorable Eugene, so on announcements. On the rest of I see Yon, he caught as a saw a round haven. Pedro Ayan, Pedro Hamas, and the last eight of the middle of the year. I see it has Anna, Zori, and Hani Zoya, the Christian and Aspect, they shared all this. I don't know which in the lead to RPG originals, I love the Sadar, Christian and Aspect, and Kinney Lou, Ava Mashahara. ตาเคสของเซโดซัมไลท์อินนะดาอิสไลท์อะโดเอเดียลาโดนาโซดาอิลลานะครับโดดาเปดาดาอิสไลท์เนียดาอิสฮอนอาเอนเวนาซอนอ
Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Eugene So, for that uh, recognition of, of retirees again. Uh, with that, Honorable Freeland, or is yours? Chairman, thank you. I forgot to mention uh, recognizing uh, guests and visiting officials. Thank you, Chairman. I apologize. I um, forgot to mention two other individuals. The first one is Ms. Angie Burnside, who is a CSC at White Horse Lake Chapter. Thank you, Angie, for taking care of all of our people, especially our sister, Grandma uh, Lucy Sandoval out of Recon Marcus, a uh, very special lady out there, elder. Otto, uh, Ms. Leah Bennett Cowboy, who's also retiring CSC from Smith Lake Chapter. Uh, we, uh, our chapter staff are also very vital. So, Eddie, thank you, uh, Chairman. Appreciate it. Thank you. With that, colleagues, any other recognizing guests and visiting officials at this time? This is uh, Del Gehenio. Oh, good afternoon, Chairman. Floor is yours. Yeah, uh, Chairman uh, Damon, I just meant the 24th Navajo Nation Council. Since we're on the uh, topic of recognizing retirees, one person I'd really like to uh, recognize and have recognition for is um, uh, Mr. Marty Ashley as he has uh, been with the nation for almost 40 years and really tremendously helped the nation and its finances as far as working with the controller's office in the early days during the uh, time when the permanent fund was set up as he had a huge role to play in that. At the same time, um, being uh, leading the tax office and generating revenues for the Navajo Nation. Uh, so, to the speaker, Damon, I hopefully I request that we Honor him during the uh, fall session at the beginning first day. Out I and Kinish Kedos to the speaker, Damon. Thank you. Thank you. So that that'll be noted, uh, Chairman Daniel. Mr. Smith on recognizing guests and visiting officials. Yes, uh, thank you, uh, Speaker, and uh, Nabukia committee members and those that are listening on. I'd like to also uh, recognize uh, one of our, uh, two of our workers and uh, right off the bat, since we're uh, pressed for time, um, I'd like to recognize a retiree from the uh, public safety uh, corrections, Juanita Begay. Uh, she's put in 41 plus years. I'd like to say, uh, appreciate her endeavors and her work and all the history that she has briefly wrote on behalf of her work ethics and um, being in the uh, corrections and working all her way up to being a principal uh, accountant and helping out. And uh, she's still uh, looking out for the uh, welfare of the Navajo Nation as well. And also the fact that uh, she's still wanting to see the uh, public safety buildings to be uh, funded to put in new buildings. Uh, she's seen a lot and she's, uh, went through a lot of leadership and uh, she mentions a few others that have uh, fired her during the Navajo Nation, such as uh, Honorable uh, Albert Hale, um, Marty Ashley, Alta Bowman, uh, Harold Anika, Leonard Pete, uh, former delegates, and also Kelsey Begay, our former president, and Annie Wanika, and the riot of 1986. And she's seen a lot and has seen uh, many changes and from the chairmanship to the three branch government uh, through uh, the uh, Navajo Nation. Also, I'd like to recognize out in the Black Roads area, uh, Bernita Sosi, our chapter coordinator, who's going to be retiring today. And I told her, I remember going to Shammy's uh, uh, retirement, there was a saying underneath the uh, um, brochure saying that, say goodbye to your attention say hello to your pension. So I'd like to say that to all the retirees. Say goodbye to your attention. Say hello to your pension. Thank you, Speaker.
Thank you very much um, for that question, Smith. Was that colleagues? Any other recognizing guests and visiting officials at this time? Uh, good afternoon, Speaker Damon. And this is a delegate yellow here too. I, I sent a text to you already. I'm waiting for you, Speaker. Well, Honorable yellow hair. I, I, then I heard somebody speaking too as well. I didn't get a text. A text. Uh, good, uh, this, good afternoon. Good uh, afternoon. Speaker Damon, uh, this is Tyson Ramon with Smith Lake Chapter, the Secretary Treasurer. I'm just listening to your NABI meeting today. Thank you. Um, with that, uh, Honorable Yellow Hair. Hello, uh, good afternoon. Uh, not in the Janat Ahmad, Senior 24 Councilman, and also our Speaker of Naval Nation Council, Mr. Damon. Thank, thank you very much to allow me to speak. First of all, uh, like everybody said, to uh, congratulations to all time Naval Nation employees and retirees right now. Thank you for your ability that to pass these legislation into law. There's Ani Belanda, so she don't he caught not to have. He not is Ani Italia. She has to let Martin Ashley out of Shami B. Gay and Jennifer Ski Legislative Office, and then Mr. Haven, too. Out on the Mr. Frank Burnside, brother, too. Out of the honor of the end of the year, the dish needs. He not to have to soft video by his son. There's Ani, he not to Italia. It all by him, so I don't think it will be. This is a different item we'd like to bring to your attention. Today is the uh, September 30, is the last day exploration um, grant uh, expired on September 30. Hardship money this this grant should be extended at least another another 30 days or up to November 30, so it can meet the deadline expiration date December 31st, uh, 2021. So the last time we uh, the information was given by uh, OOC, 42 million dollars. Hashi Tashi send a lot of money still left. So we like to get these uh hardship pay between that all yeah, that of Chinda and Yagi, A yes, they don't listen so about this thing. So this is one of very important a uh, grant that we need to take care of it. Maybe we should do a legislation to extend this expiration date September thirty and the contract itself will be actually expired December December thirty first. December thirty first. The last time we heard of Fontana Hillerin, the news from Mr. Great Smith is that this is his potential. They extend to December 31st, 2022. And they, uh, I, I talked to Mr. Great Smith in Washington, D.C. Thank you very much for the help of people. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah, I'm Thank you. Thank you, colleagues. That colleagues, any other any other recognitions at this time? I guess are visiting officials. Weiss. Going three times. That's continue on down. To review and adopt the agenda, colleagues. Mr. Rico, you mind reading the agenda into the record? Thank you, Speaker. Members of the Nabakiyati uh, Committee of the 24th Navajo Nation Council. This is a special meeting agenda, Winderot Navajo Nation, Thursday, September 30th, 2021. Proposed agenda, presiding chair, Honorable Seth Damon, Speaker, 24th Navajo Nation Council. One, call meeting to order, roll call invocation. Two, recognize guests and visiting officials. Three, review and adopt the agenda. Four, review and adopt the journals. There are none. 
five received reports. There are none. Six old business, none. Seven new business, new business A, legislation 0204-218. Close of meeting, announcements, adjournment. Mr. Speaker. Thank you. Mr. Rico, with that, colleagues, can I get a motion? Motion. Yellow hair motion. motion. Yellow hair. Yellow hair. Second by Chairman Daniel So. Colleagues, any comments, questions, additions, deletions on amendment number or on the agenda? Hmm. Honorable Slater. Uh, well, twice honorable Slater. Uh, speaker, I didn't request to speak. Uh, okay, well, we got a, somebody text that said you were speaking. So, sorry, I almost there. That moving on down. Any other comments, questions, colleagues? What is that? Speaker Damon, are we on the agenda? Yes, we are on the agenda at this time. Uh, yes, thank you, Speaker. Apologize for that confusion. Uh, this is Delegate Crodney. I wanted to make, uh, an, if I'm in order for a motion on the agenda for an amendment. Yes. Thank you, Speaker. In speaking with the staff, it looks like uh, legislation 0184-21 um, approving the Navajo Nation Diné Action Plan is ready for action. If I could make a motion uh, to put that on the consent agenda. I'd also like to add um, the legislation for the chapters to be extended uh, for their um, teleconference meeting. If I could also add that onto the consent agenda. And if Delegate Nez, um, if, and his agenda that's um, legislation that's on there, uh, I think if we could, if we could move that forward. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. I just got clarification from staff. Well, I'll need clarification from staff if I'm an order or speaker, but the intent mm -hmm. is so to move this agenda forward so we could go to, uh, to Navajo Nation Council. Thank you. Speaker, I'll second Freeland. Madam Chair, Amber Crotty, uh, with legislation 1084-21, that one's ready for not a hit committee, but uh, you stated a legislation that was destined for council that was a in reference to the chapters, an extension. The, the, uh, Speaker Damon, I apologize. Um, after I, I made that statement, we looked and it looks like that legislation is, is ready to be presented at the council. I just need to get clarification. Um, I can get you the legislative number okay. is. Okay, okay. So 200-21 sponsored by Arnold Slater is extension yes. for the for the 25 person chapter meeting quorum requirement. That one's already ready for Navajo Nation Council to be added on. So that one's been yeah. taken care of at the Navajo Committee. 
So your motion then is to put legislation 184-21, add that onto the consent agenda, and also adding in if Honorable Chairman Nez is agreeable or to adding on 204-21 to the consent agenda as well, correct? Yes, if we could get indication from Chairman Nez, I'm not sure if there's an amendment. So um, I'm, I'm open to any suggestions. I'm just looking at the timeline for the special council session. Thank you, Speaker. Thank you. With that, colleagues, on a motion for amendment number one, uh, there's adding on 184-21 to, to the consent agenda. It's an action related to the health, education, and human services committee, law and order committee, and Navigate committee, and the Navajo Nation Council approving the Navajo Nation Diné Action Plan. Uh, this legislation um, is ready for an update committee. Um, with that, that item is also could be considered to add it on uh, with the request to modify as well on to a 201-21. Uh, with that, colleagues, is it, there is a motion. Is there a second? Freeland. Honorable Freeland. Colleagues, any comments, questions? Honorable Speaker Damon, Delegate Rick Nez, request to speak, sir. Yes, Chairman Nez, floor yours on amendment number one. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker Damon, colleagues as well. Uh, my legislation 0204-21, if that could be included in the consent agenda, I would appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, yeah, that's what I meant, right? Hey, uh, Chairman, 0204-21 is is already in the consent agenda, in the amendment. Thank you very much, sir. The amendments have been taken care of by RDC. Thank you. Okay. That colleagues, any well, other Chairman comments, questions on amendment Chairman number Damon. one? Vice Chair Smith, Chairman Dave. Mr. Smith, go ahead, floor is yours. All right. With the, amend with the uh, amendment one, on legislation 0184-21. I'd like to hear that content of it. it we do the consent, it just jumps to the council and we only got five minutes left. So I'd like to remove that. Thank you. Hey, with that colleagues, there is no consent agenda. Just adding on legislation 0184-21, which will be item number B, uh, Madam Chair Amber Crotty, as your motion. Uh, colleagues, any other comments, questions? Or once, or twice, or three times. Sirico, second reading. Thank you, Speaker, and members of the 24th Novo Nation, Novo Nation Council, Nabakitha Committee. You have amendment number one is to add legislation 0184-21 to the agenda as new item B, Mr. Speaker. That go to the board. Vote. Honorable Almer Bigay. Honorable Almer Bigay. Honorable Almer Begay did not vote. Honorable Key Allen Begay, Jr. Key Allen votes green, thank you. Honorable Key Allen Begay, Jr. votes green. Honorable Pernell Halona. I'm sorry, Honorable Paul Begay. <laughs> Honorable Paul Begay votes green. Honorable Nathaniel Brown. Uh, Delegate Brown votes green. Honorable Nathaniel Brown votes green. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton. Charles Newton votes green. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton votes green. Honorable Amber Kanaz Bakrati. Uh, Shadid, this is Delegate Amber Kanaz Bakrati. I vote green. Thank you. Honorable Amber Kanaz Bakrati votes green. Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. Green. Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. votes green. Honorable Mark Freeland. 
Green. Honorable Mark Freeland votes green. Honorable Pernell Halona. Hello, that's green. Honorable Pernell Halona votes green. Honorable Jamie Hino. Hino votes green. Honorable Jamie Hino votes green. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James did not vote. Honorable Rick Nez. Delegate Rick Nez votes green. Honorable Rick Nez votes green. Honorable Carl Slater. Delegate Slater, green. Honorable Carl Slater votes green. Honorable Raymond Smith, Jr. Green. Honorable Raymond Smith, Jr. votes green. Honorable Wilson Stewart, Jr. Green. Honorable Wilson Stewart, Jr. votes green. Honorable Charlene So. Green. Honorable Charlene So votes green. Honorable Daniel So. I vote green. Honorable Daniel So votes green. Honorable Eugene So. Uh, is our show. Honorable Eugene So votes green. Honorable Otto So. Honorable Otto So votes green. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. Honorable Thomas, Thomas Walker, Walker Jr. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. votes green. Honorable Edison Winika. Honorable Edison Winika votes green. Honorable Edmund Yazi is excused. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair. I vote green. I'm finally back on the line. Yeah. I vote green. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair votes green. Going back up. Honorable Almer Begay. Honorable Almer Begay. Honorable Almer Begay did not vote. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James did not vote. Speaker, with a vote of 20 in favor, zero opposed, chair not voting. That colleague, 20 in favor, zero opposed, chair not voting on Amendment 1. Motion carries. That we are back to the main motion on uh, our agenda. Uh, is there any other further comments or questions, colleagues? Going twice. Going three times. Third board, second reading, Mr. Rico. Thank you, Speaker. Members of the Nepakita Committee, you have one amendment. Amendment number one is to add legislation 0184-21 to the agenda as new item B, Mr. Speaker. Hey, square board, college vote. Honorable Almer Begay. Honorable Almer Begay. Honorable Almer Begay did not vote. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. Delegate Kale votes green. Thank you. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. votes green. Honorable Paul Begay. Honorable Paul Begay. Honorable Paul Begay did not vote. Honorable Nathaniel Brown. Delegate Brown votes green. Honorable Nathaniel Brown votes green. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton. Charles Newton votes green. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton votes green. Honorable Amber Kanazba Crotty. Got a delegate Amber Kanazba Crotty and I vote green. Thank you. Honorable Amber Kanazba Crotty votes green. Honorable Herman N. Daniels Jr. Green. 
Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. votes green. Honorable Mark Freeland. Green votes green, thank you. Honorable Mark Freeland votes green. Honorable Pernell Halona. Honorable, green. Honorable Pernell Halona votes green. Honorable Jamie Hino. Hino votes green. Honorable Jamie Hino votes green. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James did not vote. Honorable Rick Ness. Delegate Rick Ness. I'm sorry, Honorable Rick Ness. Can you repeat your vote? I'll get Rick Ness votes green. Honorable Rick Ness votes green. Honorable Carl Slater. Delegate Slater, green. Honorable Carl Slater votes green. Honorable Raymond Smith Jr. Green. Honorable Raymond Smith Jr. votes green. Honorable Wilson Stewart Jr. Green. Honorable Wilson Stewart Jr. votes green. Honorable Charlene So. They vote green. Honorable Charlene So votes green. Honorable Daniel So. Honorable Daniel So. Honorable Daniel So did not vote. Honorable Eugene So. Honorable Eugene So votes green. Honorable Otto So. Honorable Otto So votes green. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. I vote green. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. votes green. Honorable Edison Winika. Honorable Edison Winika votes green. Honorable Edmund Yazzie is excused. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair. I vote green. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair votes green. Going back up. Honorable Elmer Begay. Honorable Elmer Begay. Honorable Elmer Begay did not vote. Honorable Paul Begay. Delegate Paul Begay votes green. Honorable Paul Begay votes green. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James did not vote. Honorable Daniel So. Honorable Daniel So. Honorable Daniel So did not vote. Speaker, you have 19 in favor, zero opposed, and chair not voting. Thank you with that, 19 in favor, zero opposed, chair not voting, motion carries. With that, let's go ahead and continue on down. We do have an agenda before us, colleagues. Reviewing the doctor generals, there are none. Let's continue on down, down. Item number five, receiving reports, there are none. Item number six, old business, there are none. Item seven, new business, two legislations on the deck. Uh, item number eight, legislation 0204-21, sponsored by Chairman Rick ne Nez. Um, Mr. Rico, if you could read it into the record. Thank you, Speaker and members of the Napakiata Committee. Tracking number 0204-21, an action relating to resource development and Nabakiati Committee's amending CGA-01-21 and NABIJN-14-21 to extend the deadline for the procurement of heavy equipment for chapters and to extend the deadline for the Department of Water Resources Emergency Projects. Legislation is sponsored by uh, Chairman, Honorable Chairman Ricky Nez. There is a committee report from the Resource and Development Committee who had it under consideration and reports a due pass with one amendment. Amendment number one, page four, lines two and eight, strike December 30th, 2021, and insert 
March 31st, 2022. Legislation was referred to the Nabakiata Committee. Nabakiata is final authority. Pernambu Nation Council Standing Committee Rules of Order Rule 9 legislation has been read into the record by electronic voice recording. Mr. Speaker. Thank you very much. That colleagues, is there a motion on legislation 0204 as shown? Motion, Alona. Honorable Alona, is there a second? Stewart. Vice Chair Smith. Second by Honorable Stewart. That right, colleagues, any comments, questions? This is uh, Vice Chair Smith. I have a question. Vice Chair Smith, go ahead. Floor is yours. Uh, thank you. It's, uh, whoa, 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 we'll hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Vice Chair Smith. Sorry, I jumped the gun there. Uh, with that, uh, let me go back to the sponsor. Chairman Ennis, you have 20 minutes on the board. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker Damon, Honorable Members of the 24th Navajo Nation Council, this legislation here is in reference to extending deadlines for procurement for chapters, heavy equipment. The other one is the deadline for the Department of Water Resources emergency projects. And I do have my agent on the line, Dr. Yellowman, as well as Mr. Jason John and Nayam Latari. So this will be my uh, presentation. Uh, speaker, if you'll give some time to uh, Dr. Yellowman and then Mr. Jason John, sir. Yes. Dr. Yellowman? Dr. Yellowman. Dr. Yellowman, you want to press star six. Good afternoon, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Um, good afternoon, thank you, speaker. And thank you to uh, our sponsor, Delegate Rick Nez, uh, and um, to the members of the Nabikiyate uh, Division of Community Development. We are seeking um, the support of the extension of the date to close out on the remaining items left for procurement under this legislation. Um, our staff have worked hard in um, implementing the legislation. We're very close to closing out. However, we did come across some challenges with procuring um, items that have been in high demand, such as utility trailers. Um, so we, we th those would be the remaining items. Um, but to members of the Nabi Kit, we we do look um, for support in this extension. Thank you. Thank you. That, Mr. John? Mr. Jason John, are you on the line? Yes, uh, Speaker. <clears throat> this is Jason John, the Director for the Department of Water Resources. I am um, I just wanted to make uh, a few statements. Um, we also have been working very hard to try to encumber um, and extend the funds <clears throat> in the original intent of, of the legislation that was approved back in January. Uh, we did encumber 95% um, of the 25.5 million. Um, we have been uh, working with the Office of Controllers to make those payments. Um, but in, in that grouping includes uh, some service contracts. Um, and our contractors um, needed some more time um, to, to expend 
the remainder of those funds from the service contract. And so that is um, why we are asking uh, for this extension. Um, there was also a few other service contracts that um, were not able to be encumbered um, in time. And um, we are asking an extension for that as well. Um, one of the contracts that where some of the funds did not get encumbered was for Tohajale. Um, we had been working with the state of New Mexico um, Water Trust Board uh, to figure out how much grant funding they would receive from the state of New Mexico. We, we just finished those um, discussions with the state a few weeks ago and uh, came upon the final amount for the grant. And now we need um, this remaining, some of the funds for the Hodgele to uh, pay back uh, the, loan portion, the loan portion of that grant in the approximate amount of 700,000. So that's just one example of why we were not able to fully encumber some of the funds and why uh, some of the service contracts need more time uh, to expend the funds. Uh, that is uh, my summary, uh, Speaker. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Chairman Nez, does that conclude your report? Yes, Speaker Damon. Thank you. Thank you. That colleagues, I'm going to the board then. I do have Vice Chair Smith in the queue. Vice Chair, floor is yours. Uh, thank you, Speaker, and uh, thank you, Nubikia committee members and those that are listening, and also Dr. Yellman and uh, Jason John. Thank you for this legislation. I have a quick question on this. I know that Nebuchadnezzar uh, is the uh, final authority. Um, looking at the uh, legislation, uh, CJA-01-21, which speaks of the uh, Section 7 uh, allocation of $4.9 to the water management. And in here, it talks about the uh, the water management, once this, once this has been passed, it, they would uh, receive the funding and the funding, the funds allocated for the Wide Runes SDS expenditure plan shall revert to the citizen fund principal if not spent or encumbered within 36 months. My question is, are we gonna meet that timeline? I know that we're doing an extension. Does this affect the extension on this project too? I know the heavy equipment's in there and also water projects, but this is one of the big major projects that's uh, been pending out in White Ruins. And we barely got a uh, business unit number. And thank you for the president and his staff getting that pushed alone and OMB now that we have a business unit number to do the right away. So that's my question on this uh, 4.9. Uh, the funds allocated for the White Ruins expansion shall be, shall be distributed to the water management branch within 30 days following enactment of this legislation. So this legislation was enacted and was that provided does um, water management branch have that funding as we speak? Uh, that's my question, uh, Speaker. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments, questions? Everybody else in the queue. Then let me go back to uh, Honorable uh, Chairman Nez, response. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker Damon. I'd like to refer the questions to uh, Mr. Jason John, sir. That, Mr. John, floor is yours. Uh, yes, uh, Speaker and um, Honorable Delegate uh, Smith. Yes, uh, we were issued a business unit um, for the Wide Runes project, SDS project. Uh, it does, it is valid for three years. Um, and as you know, the uh, money from the chapter uh, was finally issued a business unit uh, for the money that was contributed by the chapter 
um, I have set uh, the agreement over to OOC for them to encumber the $120,000. Um, and once it's encumbered, uh, the invoice can be paid to IHS to do the planning work. Um, IHS has been waiting to do the work. Uh, I'm not too sure if they've already begun the work, uh, but I think that they are um, ready to try to get the final design, the planning all in place. I'm hoping by the end of next year, but I know that's a tall order for their staff um, so that once that is done, uh, we have to process the rights away uh, and things like that. The MOA for the uh, funding of the construction, and, and at that point, we can encumber the funds uh, for the IHS project. I, I would like to say that a three month time, a three year time frame is is more than adequate to encumber uh, the funding that was uh, allocated in January, um, but the construction. Uh, completion date may be um, longer than three three years, but I think that we can encumber and pay for the project within the three year time frame. But we can definitely meet with IHS to discuss those details. Um, thank you, uh, Speaker. Hey, with that, colleagues, go back to the floor. Any other comments, questions at this time? The speaker, this is Mike Sheer Smith. Sheer Smith, go ahead, floor is yours. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Jason John, for that clarification of how this is going to transpire. Uh, my question is to speaker. Um, speaker, there's that ARPA funds that's coming out to the now. Well, we have it now in the Navajo Nation, and we use the citizen funds. Is there a way that we could replenish that citizen funds using this? Uh, 4.9 since everything seems to be in order and uh, maybe that would expedite the water project to get this water project uh, completed for the wide ruins folks out there they've been since 1868 of the return of the long walk they have not had any running water and they're looking forward to that that's my question uh speaker to uh uh, we got the funds, and we just like to uh, see if that we could uh, replenish the uh, citizen funds. I know that there's a provision in there, and the water is one of the uh, big major topics of this uh, ARPA funds. Uh, thank you, Speaker. It just uh, I have to go back to the original legislation when you sponsored that legislation. If it if it identified that you could, uh, if, if federal funding was able to reimburse the CSN funds. Uh, that's that's the only thing. Uh, I don't have that legislation in front of me right now, so I'd have to do some research on that. Uh, speaker, if I may. That's by Chair Smith. I think it's under Section 11. I'm looking at it, and it talks about citizen shall be reimbursed of eligible expenditures. So I guess I did answer my own question. Uh, thank you, uh, Speaker. Yeah. You mean you're looking at the original legislation? Yes, sir. With the uh, strikeouts that were done by the uh, president under the, uh, um, what do they call it, uh, CJA-01-21. Great. Hey, colleagues, any other comments, questions? Went twice. Went three times. Let's go to board on legislation 02.04-21. No amendments. Honorable Elmer Begay. I'll vote green. Honorable Elmer Begay votes green. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. Delta Key Allen votes green. Thank you. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. votes green. Honorable Paul Begay. Paul Begay votes green. Honorable Paul Begay votes green. 
Honorable Nathaniel Brown. Delegate Brown votes green. Honorable Nathaniel Brown votes green. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton. Charles Newton votes green. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton votes green. Honorable Amber Kanaspa Cotty. Honorable Amber Kanaspa Cotty. Honorable Amber Kanaspa Cotty did not vote. Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. Green. Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. votes green. Honorable Mark Freeland. Honorable Mark Freeland. Honorable Mark Freeland did not vote. Honorable Pernell Halona. Votes green. Honorable Pernell Halona votes green. Honorable Jamie Hino. Hino votes green. Honorable Jamie Hino votes green. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James did not vote. Honorable Rick Ness. Delegate Rick Ness votes green. Honorable Rick Ness votes green. Honorable Carl Slater. Delegate Slater, green. Honorable Carl Slater votes green. Honorable Raymond Smith Jr. Green. Honorable Raymond Smith Jr. votes green. Honorable Wilson Stewart Jr. Green. Honorable Wilson Stewart Jr. votes green. Honorable Charlene So. I vote green. Honorable Charlene So votes green. Honorable Daniel So. Honorable Daniel So. I vote green. Honorable Daniel So votes green. Honorable Eugene So. Honorable Eugene oh, God, So. Honorable Eugene So votes green. Honorable Otto So. Honorable Otto So votes green. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. I vote green. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. votes green. Honorable Edison Winika. Honorable Edison Winika votes green. Honorable Edmund Yazi is excused. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair. I vote green. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair votes green. Going back up. Honorable Amber Kanaspa Crotty. Honorable Amber Kanaspa Crotty. Honorable Amber Kanaspa This is Delegate Amber Kanaspa Crotty, and I vote um, green. Thank you very much. Honorable Amber Kanaspa Crotty votes green. Honorable Mark Freeland. Uh, Freeland votes green. Thank you. Honorable Mark Freeland votes green. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James did not vote. Speaker, with the vote of 21 in favor, zero opposed, and chair not voting. Hey, thank you, colleagues. 21 in favor, zero opposed, chair not voting. Motion carries on legislation 0204-21. With that, Let's go on down to legislation zero one eight four dash two one. Item number B. And this is sponsored by Madam Chair Amber Crotty. Sarika, if you could read it into the record. Thank you, Speaker, and members of the Nabakita Committee, tracking number 0184-21, an action relating to the Health, Education, and Human Services, Law and Order, and Nabakita Committees, and the Navajo Nation Council, approving the Navajo Nation Diné Action Plan. 
sponsored by Honorable Madam Chair Amber Knazba Karate. There are two committee reports from the Health, Education, and Human Services Committee that recommend a due pass with no amendments. Committee report from the Law and Order Committee has had under consideration reports the same with the recommendation that it do not pass with no amendment. A motion was made in lack of second. This legislation moves forward with the guidance from the Office of Legislative Council. This legislation will move on to the Navajo Nation Council. Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. That colleague, is there a motion? Motion, Daniel So. Motion by Chairman Daniel So. Second. Delegate Nez. Delegate oh, Chairman Nez. That uh, colleagues, this legislation 0184 21 was on the council. Any comments, questions? Commissioner Smith has a question. That goes to Madam Chair and McCarty. Four zeros. Uh, thank you, Speaker Damon, colleagues, and everyone on the line. Um, legislation 0184-21 is being presented to uh, the Nabakiachit Council. And while I get into the presentation, I wanna recognize that I do have um, two agents. I have Ms. Teresa Galvin with the Office of the President and Vice President and Raquel T with uh, the Judicial Branch. Uh, speaker, we've had a few work sessions regarding um, the Danette Action Plan, but for the benefit of this council, we wanted to review uh, the executive uh, summary. And um, so in, uh, in line with the attachment to the legislation, you can look on, I believe it's my digital copy 10, uh, let me just triple check that, uh, that you'll see an executive uh, summary regarding the um, the net action plan. And in terms of what the plan encompass and how the plan will be administered here on the Navajo Nation. Uh, other areas that I wanna to defer to Ms. Galvin is, and Ms. Chi is the history in terms of um, the funding that was allocated to this plan and in particular, the advisory board that will be uh, in charge of looking at the challenges that were um, identified by, by Navajo Nation communities. And that would be the violence in the communities, uh, the, the suicide ideation and the prevention work that needs to take place, uh, the rate of alcoholism and other uh, substances that are used to numb the pain of trauma. And uh, with the work of the task force, the missing and murdered Diné relative was added in conjunction uh, to, the, um, to the work that uh, working with our FBI counterparts in Arizona and the U.S. Attorney's Office of Arizona, they have an MMIP, Missing and Murdered Indigenous Person Coordinator. And we've had um, collaborative meetings on what it will take to have uh, an approach on how to recover our missing relatives, how to interact and provide um, services to the families and uh, especially the children when they have a missing uh, parent, how we can build up our media response and communication to the families and to the public. And then looking at um, and working with peacemaking, judicial branch, executive branch on how to build up a holistic framework um, for the prevention and um, hopefully the recovery of all of our relatives out there. Uh, colleagues, you may have been um, provided an article stemming out of Texas. Uh, we do have a very gruesome case that we are following as it impacts um, Tanya Begay. She's been missing from the Tohatchi area since 2017. She was last seen with her then boyfriend. And um, he was recently arrested in Texas this week and has confessed to at least five gruesome murders and including um, the death of his girlfriend in the Arizona area. 
And uh, I say this with caution because the family has not been provided an update from law enforcement. And so they are um, still actively investigating that case. But I think if we can understand the type of violence that is going on in our communities, the type of work that's needed um, to track these cases and provide um, a sense of healing, a sense of justice, and more importantly, that the families know that we're doing this together because this leads to numbing with trauma and it leads to, you know, suicidal ideations. And uh, the point of this action plan is to create an interagency approach so that all hands are on deck and that there's active communication through all of the three branches. So I want to thank President Jonathan Nez, Vice President Leiser and their team, uh, Shamad, um, Chief Justice Joanne Jane and her team and Speaker uh, Seth Damon and his team on these collaborative meetings that have started roughly six years ago and um, how we continue to try to make um, improvements to our own system, understanding there's a lot of challenges, but if uh, we can collectively work together, then collectively we can start um, working on some of the solutions. So we had a meeting today on um, the Nisani for Justice and some of the areas was uh, collecting of data, what would it take to have a capital crimes unit and um, just prevention in terms of violence. Uh, the violence um, in terms of gender-based violence is very high on the nation. It's um, Navajo on Navajo crime, but we also recognize that our men have suffered a lot of trauma and have ha had to deal with their own pain in silence. And so uh, we're working now with a former uh, detective from the Native American Fatherhood Association. And so colleagues, this will be um, in, in speaking with some, some of you on how you want to be involved in some of these movements. We want to bring them in so that we can create a space for our fathers, our grandfathers, our uncles, our brothers, our sons to have a voice and be part of the healing and not um, just be looked at as the perpetrator but heal that trauma so that we could um, break these cycles of violence. So speaker, with that in mind, that's the intent of the legislation. Um, I will defer to Ms. Teresa Galvin with the Office of the President um, to give her overview. She was very supportive um, in the work with SAMHSA, SAMHSA Substance Abuse Mental Health um, Services and Raquel Chi working with her federal partners to create this Senate action plan. And all of this work really um, took the initiative of, um, you know, Yvonne Key Bilson has left the Navajo Nation, but uh, she she definitely helped us coordinate, uh, was steadfast in getting this done. And so I want to acknowledge all of the many hours she put into this and all of the other agencies. There was hundreds of Navajo employees who gathered to have these conversations. And so this really was a labor of love. And so I want to defer to Ms. Galvin if you wanted to give uh, some additional uh, information to the committee, and then we can move on to Ms. Cheese. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, oh, Mr. Speaker, this is Teresa Galvin. I'll lead off in the presentation. Okay. All right. I didn't know. Go ahead, Ms. Galvin. Good afternoon. Yes. Good, good afternoon. Voice. Um, thank you, um, Delegate Karate, in sponsorship of this legislation. Mr. Chair, members of the Nabi Kia Committee, um, to work towards the diligent document we have before you on behalf of our Navajo people. This came by way of the effort um, for, from the Indian Alcohol and Substance Abuse Prevention Act, which was adopted in 1986. And from that point, the Navajo Nation Council by resolution adopted CO 68-90 to amend the tribal action plan and to, and to direct uh, the nation to move forward with an implementation plan. We appreciate the funding source that judicial branch was able to receive um, to be able to move forward. And from that, we began 
what was known as the Navajo Nation Public Safety Summit, which we conducted two large work sessions in 2017 and 18. We had numerous programs and resource providers that were able to join us in a three-day span uh, work session, um, breakout sessions to be able to identify what we see, the true needs and challenges in order for us to move forward. Um, and as far as looking at the summit itself, um, as Dr. Delegate Crowdy made mention, we had the SAMHSA Tribal Technical Assistance and Training Center come forward with some funding support and technical support as well, as well as the Bureau of Justice Assistance. Um, and I too want to thank my former uh, colleague, Yvonne Kibillison, who is a member of our work group, and to all of our work group members to assist in drafting this document that is before you. Uh, Mr. Speaker and Chair, I'd like to now yield the floor to Raquel Chi, who will highlight aspects of the Diné planning model. Yes, this is Raquel Chi. Can you all hear me? I can, Ms. Chi. Or yours. Biga, I can't. Thank you, um, Speaker Damon. Thank you, Navik Iatek Committee, Ado. I can't have Delegate Crotty for sponsoring this legislation. Um, I am Raquel Chi. I don't understand the cut in his own name. She can't have a cheat name, but she's cheating. My days, Gizney, does it say don't a missed editine? Does another hot out a sanito a manusle? The next the next action plan will be a higgy a abalata could a judicial branch to go a bindashid miss Regina Roan Horse Begay, our court administrator out in Twadjale Alamo, started with a public safety summit back in 2015. A cop at the to it does a nahe Ado um ho uh delegate crowdy do um um sh uh Shada Teresa Yahol met some of the history about where this document is coming from. A con by twenty fifteen yeah da the net a ski craigo ha is ha ish I see Nikitati Ado um Hashit A I see Nikit in the Hud A Hut Al Nabadek the net slah long lay um Belti Dustinilde. Ah, the A, the Netan, um, ah, um, number one, I got your hold net, um, Crowdy, that delegate Crowdy, your hold net. Number one, Gun Ege violence, done, that's our biggest problem that they need. Ado, Kun Ege, non A substance abuse, not that they need. Ado, suicide, as though I, you see, um, um, changed, as though that they need in there. Ado, um, not too recently, the Yahoo's uh, the missing and murdered in their relatives, a um, became our number four. We go into plan for how to solve each of those problems, um, and then it entails an advisory board, a hot al bihisto. Um Ado the mission will Yehiki a Laganik Echigo a empowering and strengthening strengthening healthier generations. A hot out the Laganik Echigo Hut out a bin ye a date and baka a date and Ada Nik Echigo a dinne binna hut a be as an o dash Put out a Bakata date in Dolish with this plan that is um, before you for consideration for legislation. I, although I should have dated this to everyone who has helped us work on this um, plan document, um, Ms. Billison was mentioned for a long time. She co led the group and our planning group. Although, um, Chief Justice Sloan, a DHL, um, along with, at the time it was President Begay and our former speaker, DHL, and Although, a Chief Justice Jane Hunes, 
Nalna. She was very supportive. So thank you to her. Although Roman Bitsui, he um, was really instrumental in ensuring that uh, we were putting forth a document that is relevant for ourselves, for our people, and a document that will come to life um, and be able to solve these problems for our people. Uh, so I wanted to add those um, to the points that were just added. And thank you very much for putting us on the agenda. Thank you very much for that, Madam Chair Crotty. Does that conclude your presentation? Uh, yes, uh, speaker. So we gave a broad view um, of the DNA action plan. There are specific action items that are in the document itself. And so if delegates want to review that, and those are the areas um, with uh, a time frame um, to uh, move forward. And um, as both of the presenters have mentioned, this is also a federal initiative and will help uh, Navajo Nation as we move forward with our grant funding and also our accountability in terms of how we are creating a system that will work for our people. So we'll yield the floor if there's any other questions. Thank you, speaker. Uh, thank you very much. That, uh, we'll go ahead and go back uh, to the floor colleagues. Any, oh, well, Vice Chair Smith, on announcement, or uh, on the, on the main motion of legislation 0184-21. Or yours. Uh, thank you, Chairman Damon, on the, uh, allow me to speak on this behalf. Uh, thank you, uh, Honorable Crotty, for this uh, legislation and the, uh, articulation of what is being done with the uh, Dene Action Plan and your uh, agents too. Uh, just have a uh, quick question at this point in time. Uh, I know that uh, there is that, uh, I guess it was approved back in 87 by council, it's CN-55-87. The Navajo Nation approved the Tribal Action Plan is this still in line with the approved action plan back then? Or are we amending that? Are we adding to that? Or, or is this uh, still in, in play? Uh, maybe that could be a question to uh, Legislative Council rather than uh, on McCrotty, uh, because it's a public law 99-570 which is the uh, Substance Abuse Prevention and Treatment Act of Public Law 99-570. Back then, there was a lot of uh, substance abuse, but right here, right now, is there's other sorts of uh, violence going on, and that's why the Dene Action Plan wants to address that. Also, the other question, too, is um, we have that uh, Public Law 93-638 by BIA. It's uh, the Indian South determination contracts, which funds Navajo Department of Transportation and Navajo Nation Social Services, and also Navajo Nation Public, uh, Department of Public Safety. Um, is this a mechanism to um, get data and statistics in order to say we are on the rise of certain uh, heinous crimes that are happening within the Navajo Nation? Therefore, social services is trying to address that, and also NDPS is trying to address that with the uh, 638. Uh, is that a mechanism to work in behalf of, uh, I guess, uh, lobbying the federal government for additional funding to um, at least alleviate this or educate? I know that it also mentions BIE in there, uh, 25 CFR Part 32, uh, point three, it provides quality education. At that level of quality education, if we're talking about the young folks, uh, is this going to also be an educational tool to be used to the young folks saying, 
someone that's a, a mentor or someone that's like a masan e yatke na khashin da yusado e yato to which it it e bahats an choshi yaz e dat egi yatke holo e yah that's that's the first uh, step in at least trying to um to to prevent violence that's going to be years down the road because these little folks they become uh adolescents and they become preteen and they become teenagers and then they become young adults and they become adults and then they go into their uh mature life of uh, they remember those kind of teachings um that's the question i have because it says that uh, schools to continue to address prevention and intervention on violence and i think that is one key group i know bie does have schools throughout the navajo nation i think it was mentioned something like 139 schools or something like that i, I could be wrong I, I came across it i don't have it in front of me but there is schools that are out there and we do have public schools and we have charter schools too so how far are we going into that uh to also educate them too because we we can do that with the bie level uh using that then uh and then I also see the Navajo Nation Aging Council members. Who are those folks? Are they also engaged in this dialogue and also giving uh, 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 support on uh, on certain things that are being presented to um, help with this uh, advisory group and to develop and help? You know, they're like experts. They can coordinate, uh, collaborate, and um, working with the other agencies and entities, and they have a big uh, task and responsibility, basically on the subject matter, and that's what uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at. And it's, of course, it'd be a, a task force, and task force would be uh, coming together. And I heard that uh, Yvonne Billison was uh, very instrumental in this, and thank for her advocacy and her work in doing this, and uh, it's being carried on on this behalf. Uh, so those are my questions and comments, uh, speaker. Uh, turn the floor back over to you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments or questions, colleagues? Couple questions. Speaker, just delegate the gay. Hey, Honorable Alma Gay, good afternoon. Where's yours? Oh, good afternoon, Shewe. So, other the members of the Nabukiyoki committee, though, not a other. Should they do and don't get crowded at all about your legislation? Mean any though? Yeah, I don't. I heard my mother left you. Um, um, the spill from so yet a um, and I just kid or did you get the net action plan? Yeah, yeah, so the way I understand the idea now, so how to do it, it's gonna be a um, a procedures book, but other yabik aho, and either this, the neck aho, in the Taha case, to do things in the the, the neck aho. That means, um, at the neck, you see, a sweet or son, with yahagi do, other than the Ajiba Nat and Tiniki, that was in Tiniki, it is going to be put into this house. Ah, is she there? Yah, it's going to be not the door. Or on the day, pick a hot or dark or the city to go about that way of life. It's a good idea. It is never a nation government. Be you do it that in the city, it be you do it. Yes, I don't know. That's the way I understood that action plan. Because my understanding here is that um, I know that there's a work session that happened. The work, work session that happened. So, um, are there anything that's 
um, yeah, yeah, the hospital, ito, ado, ado, the recommendation. Um, a part of this to come to be a, a yeah, because yeah, yeah, if you, when you were doing the presentation or doing the um, work session, any comments that were put in here, either in the heart of where can I see that? Even I just keep those people that are like, Hatrasi than Linigi, or did that have two songs in Linigi, but other songs, Anigi that don't go to um, work session or any uh, places where they're having conference, don't go on that car, you only wonder. Is that with each chance or songs in Halit? Ah, yeah, 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 the culture of teaching that 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 that, that some of these elderly that they still go by and they still go by those standards now although they have it in in something that a way of life for them. I wonder what they're thinking. What are is nasty many It's the news and not about the case because when I say something about one of those had caught her sweet a sound is on me. Got niche yin clashing. Do you believe in that? Do you go by the way of life that you do? Oh, what is she? So has me done. What are you about this case? Yeah, this is not the innocent. I don't leave it, leave it. Okay. Maybe the, the, this, is, this is just a net to just make a hot dog. We kind of saying this culturally teachings and cultural way of thinking, the narrow way of thinking. ADN, because it would be the yes, it may even listen to that. Don't add the Bansat case, Bansat case, and things like that. So that part of it, in the heart of it, those kind of comments that I wanted to uh, read about it and I want to hear from them. Oh, yeah, 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 it's all about this thing. So, because those elderly can really get after you for that. She what does even though I'm, 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 I'm at this age and, and I try to implement some of these culturally teaching and culturally the uh, um, the way of life. They said, do you believe it? Do you exercise it? Do you practice that? That your way of life? Oh, what is it? He could double cargy because what at the mini he go. It doesn't look good on you. What that need that? David now, eh, yeah, who is in your eight in the night? I wonder what to do this. That I see when you do your presentation or work session workshops. Is the other the comment from that, uh, those public on Eggy? Is the great Ella? Is the can, can, eh, where can I see that? Eh, yeah, that was my, my thought, my, my question, uh, scripture. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Elmer Brigade. With that, colleagues, we have seven minutes until Navajo Nation Council starts. That moving on down, Honorable Kellen Brigade. Uh, Chairman, um, I guess I'll go ahead and wait uh, for the uh, council's uh, special session. Chairman. Yeah. Thank you. Any other comments? That, let me go back to Madam Chair Amber Crotty. Uh, yes, thank you, Speaker Damon. I appreciate the questions, Vice Mr. Smith. Um, so uh, the question, um, if Legislative Council um, wants to answer, the intent is to adopt uh, the 2021 Navajo Nation Dinner Action Plan. And so that would, uh, that would then replace the former plan that was approved 87, about 35 years ago. Um, and so that's the intent. The second question, in terms of data, there is a component on, on the activities on collecting data and having uh, agreements. So if you look on your digital page 46 of 79, you can see some of the goals and objectives and um, where we will um, be able to enhance the ability 
of public safety system to keep our community safe. So that would uh, address some of the, the data issues. And in terms of mentoring, if, you, if I could direct you to page 45, that's the education and awareness page where it does have four objectives and how to provide um, awareness and education. So incorporate cultural education, awareness and empowerment into all prevention strategies, increase education on the prevention of violent substance use disorder and suicide to promote healthy families. Increase awareness of the negative outcomes of violence, substance use, disorder, and suicide to promote healthy families. And increase outreach to our Navajo families on the prevention of violence, substance use, disorder, and suicide. Uh, the, the last question that I received from Vice Chair Smith was the Council of Aging Members. So in this legislation, uh, the, this committee and subsequently the Council will be approving and will be developing um, the advisory board. And so with that development, then the aging council, uh, which we're meeting every quarter prior to COVID, uh, will have an opportunity to nominate and have someone on the advisory group, as will members of the council who serve on law and order, health education, human services, and a member from the speaker's office, and uh, from Navigia Tip Committee. Uh, in terms of Delegate uh, Begay, uh, looking at the Exhibit A, this is approximately an 80 page uh, document uh, for your review. And it starts with the Monster Slayer story. And we used uh, the peacemakers uh, gathering and collecting from our knowledge holders who uh, have mentored us in terms of how to approach some of these systemic issues um, and especially um, now that Mr. Roman Bitsui has retired, we've been working with Shema Elaine Henderson and, um, and have guided through this conversation. And so I wanna to defer to Ms. Chi if she wanted to provide uh, more information on how that was approached uh, using the lens of our teachings, our language, and how that can incorporate uh, this holistic framework uh, that or we talk about in, main, in mainstream terms like restorative justice. So if, if, if the outcome is to heal, then what is that process? So Ms. Chi, did you wanna provide some additional insight to Delegate Begay? Thank you. Uh, she called you four minutes left. Okay, yeah. thank you, Speaker Otto, Delegate Crowdy. Thank you for um, the question. Otto, I don't see you as Delegate Begay. Yeah, not danger to Begay. As you are aware, because you were also a part of the process, and thank you for your time that you contributed to helping plan this document. There were, I believe, two or three sessions that we had with um, uh, Hatasi from and traditional practitioners about the relevance of using the story, the monster slayer story and this planned document. Um, so there were extensive conversations about it. And then um, uh, when we brought the document back up again in um, last fall, we had the same conversations again about the relevance of the cultural context of this document and everybody was in agreement that um, it was the, the right way to go. That was the consensus. We had a minimum that I see of eight work sessions from 2016, 2015, 2017, uh, that we had on this topic. And for each of those work sessions, we maintained notes, we maintained um, sign-in sheets. There were a couple of the sessions where the public were invited. So we had funding from USDOJ to plan and we were able to bring in the public. Um, we were able to bring in our, um, our community members from throughout the Navajo Nation and they were able to uh, sound off about what they, thought was good about the dinner action plan, what we needed to change. Um, 
So those, all those, uh, all that conversation was incorporated into this plan document that you see in front of you today. Uh, and the plan okay, is to you, use Ms. this T. document. Ms. T. Okay. Thank you, Ms. T. I just want to, in terms of time, speaker, that's our, our um, update or our answers, and we could answer additional questions and um, contact the delegates directly with any other concerns or recommendations. Thank you, speaker. Hey, colleagues, with that. There, go back to the floor. Any other further comments, questions? I call for the vote. Delegate Voice. Daniel So. Times. Let's go to board. Legislation 0184 21. Legislation just for council. Honorable Elmer Begay. Albert Green. Honorable Amber Begay votes green. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. Delegate Key Allen votes green. Thank you. Honorable Key Allen Begay Jr. votes green. Honorable Paul Begay. Honorable Paul Begay. Honorable Paul Begay. Honorable Paul Begay votes green. Honorable Nathaniel Brown. Delegate Brown votes green. Honorable Nathaniel Brown votes green. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton did not vote. Honorable Charles Amber Newton Kenan votes green. Honorable Eugenia Charles Newton votes green. Honorable Amber Kanazba Crotty. Uh, Shada, this is Delegate Amber Kanazba Crotty, and I vote green. Thank you. Honorable Amber Kanazba Crotty votes green. Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. Okay. Honorable Herman M. Daniels Jr. votes green. Honorable Mark Freeland. I vote green. Thank you. Honor Honorable Mark Freeland votes green. Honorable Pernell Halona. Honorable Pernell Halona, can you repeat your vote? Green. Honorable Pernell Halona votes green. Honorable Jamie Hino. Honorable Jamie Hino. Honorable Jamie Hino did not vote. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James did not vote. Honorable Rick Ness. Honorable Rick Ness. Delegate Rick Ness. Honorable Rick Ness. Delegate Rick Ness votes green. Honorable Rick Ness votes green. Honorable Jamie Hino votes green. Honorable Carl Slater. Delegate Slater, green. Honorable Carl Slater votes green. Honorable Raymond Smith, Jr. Green. Honorable Raymond Smith, Jr. votes green. Honorable Wilson Stewart, Jr. Green. Honorable Wilson Stewart, Jr. votes green. Honorable Charlene So. I vote green. Honorable Charlene So votes green. Honorable Daniel So. <coughs> I vote green. Honorable Daniel So votes green. Honorable Eugene So. Honorable Eugene So. Honorable Eugene So did not vote. Honorable Otto So. Honorable Otto So votes green. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. Green. Honorable Thomas Walker Jr. votes green. Honorable Edison Winika. Honorable Edison Winika votes green. Honorable Edmund Yazi is excused. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair. Okay, Yellowhair votes green. Honorable Jimmy Yellowhair votes green. Going back up. Honorable Vince James. Honorable Vince James. 
Honorable Vince James did not vote. Honorable Eugene So. Honorable Eugene So. Honorable Eugene So did not vote. Speaker, with a vote of 20 in favor, zero opposed, and chair not voting. Excuse me, green, Eugene So. Honorable Eugene So votes green. 21 in favor, zero opposed, and chair not voting. Okay, colleagues on legislation 0184-21. Uh, with a vote of 21 in favor, zero opposed, chair not voting. Motion carries. Uh, that legislation Motion again is destined for council. All right, colleagues, we are timed out now uh, on our Navajo Nation Navajo Committee. It's going to take us about five to 10 minutes to uh, change over. Uh, so we will be back on the line, colleagues, once IT changes uh, the system over. Thank you.